Hello there. Today's video is on a program available from the internet. It's called GIMP.org. Uh, unfortunately named, but uh, it stands for GNU Image Manipulator Program. Runs on Windows, Linux, Mac, probably other things as well. But uh, it is freely downloadable. You can run it on your laptop or desktop. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a file. What we're going to do is make an animated image. Uh, actually I actually have four animated images. They're just uh, arrows and that's what we're going to animate but the trick is you want to do them in reverse order so there we go there's number four what I do with the with my uh, let's go to X here there we go X is the name of the folder I put them in uh, so I'm just gonna grab them and I'm gonna drag them here into the layer section layers is kind of a Photoshop thing though GIMP does it too because it's a pretty common concept but you want to put them in reverse order four three two one uh, and then we're gonna get them all in there and then I'm gonna do an export uh, so we'll do an export and uh, we're going to export it as select file type of a GIF, GIF image. Go ahead and we're going to call this um, rotating because I like naming things appropriately. Rotating arrow. Uh, let's put a hyphen in there. Export. And uh, we're going to do it as an animation. You can say pick what kind of animation that you want. I don't really care about that. Uh, but I do care about speed. I don't want it too fast. If I have text, I actually want to go slower. This is milliseconds, so 500 equals half a second. Uh, if I have a lot of text, I tend to slow it down to two, 750 or even 1,000, a whole second per slide. Um, let's go ahead and export this. I checked uh, as animation. We don't need this comment, but as an animation, uh, loop forever. So if you want it to just run and stop, you uncheck this box. But I want it to go forever. Why not? That's it's no fun. You might miss it if it didn't just run forever. Uh, and then 500 before. And if you choose an animation method, you want to say uh, choose an animation animation method. Check enter the delay above. Use delay enter above for all frames. Yeah, I wanted to do it for all frames. That's important. And uh, use disposal enter above for all frames, which I didn't care, so I'm not going to check that box. Let's go ahead and export. And uh, where did my folder go? There we go. There's rotating arrow. So if I right click and open with uh, Google Chrome, there we go. There's my rotating arrow and it's going every half a second rotating around. That's how you make it. Uh, and hopefully if your Google Photos do not auto awesome themselves, you can do a not so auto awesome. Thank you.